Hey guys, what's up? Oh, you can see I never fold clothes, can't you? We're just gonna cover that up and pretend I do what I'm supposed to do because I am a functioning adult. Today is the day where I spill the tea. <laughs> Girl, we got a lot to talk about. Gymshark, let's talk. I really wanted to do this video because I see a lot of promotion around Gymshark. There hasn't really been much negative things said about it. Thus, why I bought so much stuff. If you follow me on social media, you have me on Snapchat, Instagram, all that stuff, you're probably wondering, like, are you sponsored by Gymshark? Because I have literally so many pieces of Gymshark. No, girl. I I'm just an adult that doesn't know how to spend her money properly. I have a lot of the main staples of Gymshark. I want to give you guys my personal honest review and let's just say they aren't going to be happy about this. But at least I hope it can save you a bit of money if you watch this. You guys, I am not bashing Gymshark. They are one of my favorite sports brands just because they're so cute. Like every athletic wear or sports brand or anything popular, there has to be something wrong with it. There can't be nothing where it's like, this is a perfect product, like, no. Even like Lululemons, I have one pair of Lululemons I'm wearing them right now. I spent like $120 on them and honestly, I don't really like these pants at all. Um, like if I walk to the washroom, they'll just fall off. So like they'll already be preparing me to go to the washroom. They are just so loose around the waist and then the butt part is like perfect so I don't know Lulu like you do you anyways this is not about Lulu this is about Gymshark and spilling the tea I want to kind of review a few staple pieces that I have and I want to give you my personal opinion and you guys can make your own decisions on whether you want to buy this or not because some pieces that have not worked out for me my friends have like loved and it's just Nuh-uh, honey, nuh-uh. The really popular thing on the website are these flex leggings. Honestly, ew, did I just get lipstick on this? Honestly, I have my fair share of flex leggings and um, I usually go for the gray ones because gray leggings are kind of my favorite thing in the gym, but I just whip myself in the eye. I am not meant for this career. Like, how do people live and survive being an adult and make money off YouTube? Like. I film one video and I injure myself three times and I get lipstick on my Gymshark leggings, so it's just not meant for me. Before I start, I just want to say this. Do you know that relationship that you see other people being in and you're like, wow, that's so majestic, it's so nice, I really want that. And then when you have it for yourself, you're like, why though? But then since you already have it, you keep on using it and not using it or being in it and staying in it. And that's kind of how I feel about Gymshark. Gymshark honestly is not that expensive, which is what I really liked about it. Usually athletic wear is really pricey and sometimes the price does not make up for the quality. I have seen leggings that are like $98. For example, Celestial Bodies, um, their leggings are see-through. So <sighs> I'm not about to pay $98. U.S. to wear see-through ass leggings into the gym when I can literally just walk in there naked. It's a solid no from me. Um, flex leggings, let's get back on that subject. So flex leggings are one of their most popular items. You'll see many, many of their uh, famous Instagrammers, Gymshark sponsors, athletes, fit chicks of Instagram. When they're not selling fit tea, they're selling Gymshark leggings. And that's because these ones are actually really comfortable. What happened was when I first started working on it, when I first bought Gymshark, I bought these in a medium, and then um, these ones are in a small. And small actually fit me better. But Flex leggings overall rating, I would give maybe like a eight, seven, seven, eight out of 10. I would say these are one of their better leggings. And the price range, I believe it's below $40 US. So that's not bad. And um, the thing I really like about them is that these don't slip. And that's really important, especially like if you're doing weights, if you're doing cardio, I can always wear these. And the material on this is just great. It's very, very thin, but they have this butt part so it's not see-through. None of these flex leggings so far are see-through, which is great. I don't have to worry about bending over and having half the gym see my ass. I'm not about that life. But flex leggings, no see-through, squat proof. Bueno. They do kind of have a unflattering angle. If you have any bit of fat like towards the top of your stomach, like this area, if you have any bit of fat or love handles towards this like I do, <laughs> um, it'll kind of, it kind of squeezes like everything together here 
and then it'll have like a muffin top so if you sit because you know like when you sit down your stomach's not completely flat unless you're really really lean and even then you kind of have that little like muffin top sit down thingamajig these flex leggings really show that you have a muffin top. It doesn't have a perfect like pear shape to your body. It kind of bunches up your love handles like this and then it's just like your waist. Which is like so unflattering to me. And to make these work, you kind of have to pull them up. The way it wears, let me put a few videos of me working out and you can kind of see it kind of sits up your ass crack so it doesn't sit perfectly on your ass. It creates that little like line between your ass and... I don't know, like some people like that, but I'm not a huge fan of it. It's kind of, eh. And also, you get a camel toe. Like, Gymshark is so bad on their camel toe. Like, even some of the pictures on their site, like, let me see if I can try to find one and put it here, but some of the pictures on their site, you can see that girls clearly have a camel toe in it, so... Flex leggings camel toe is really bad, and I don't mean camel toe as in, like, the full, like, this, I mean like even when it's just pulled up, you can just see like the shape of your vagina and I don't need that in my life. I didn't sign up for this. That is why they did not get a perfect rating. It sits unflattering. When you sit, you feel like you have like so much fat on you because like your tummy just kind of like sits all the way at the bottom and looks like a spare tire, which I'm like, oh. The small fit me better than the mediums do now, but I also wear the mediums because bitch, I paid for these. They have the regular length ones and then they have the cropped ones. I like both. But, yes. So these are cute. I would say try them out for yourself and see what it's like. This is not a waste of money. Flex leggings. The next leggings are the Jersey Arc leggings. And I only have this one in navy blue. I just want to try this out because I don't see a lot of people raving about this. But, um... Honestly, this is like really good. This is one of my favorite leggings from them. Um, it has a very durable material. It's squat proof. I actually wore this in my um, leg day video, but you can check it out down below if you want. These ones have a really nice band to it. It's kind of like sweatpants band, but then um, they also have a little gym shark sign. So yeah, if you like hype beast stuff and you want to be a gym hype beast, flex leggings are the way to go because it's literally like gym shark, gym shark, gym shark all the way across. But these ones are really chill. They also have that little shark logo on the ankle. These ones are 100% bueno from me. I would give these like 10 out of 10 pretty much. And these ones are like one of their cheapest leggings too. So I don't know. Where This is where the tea spills. Okay, this is where. I will insert clips where you can see. Oh my god. Like I'm literally going to have a stroke. Two pairs of seamless leggings. Around $118 in Canadian. Um, that's without like shipping fees, custom fees. By the way, I have personally never had to pay customs on my Gymshark stuff, but I heard a lot of people when they get Gymshark shipped to Canada, they have to pay customs. I don't know why, but some people pay like 50 bucks or something, and that's just ridiculous to me. That kind of takes away the purpose of having cheap ass athletic wear. But let me know if you had to pay customs before. I don't know. These are the Seamless Collection, and these were out of stock for so long that literally when they came back on the site, everyone was, like, freaking out and buying them, and they were so promoted, like, uh, Karina L., Whitney Simmons, oh my god, like, the Seamless Collection's back on, and they were all, like, freaking out, and then, like, I was freaking out, and I, like, bought them at work, and two pairs is, like, $120, so I'm gonna force myself to like it and wear it, no matter what. Hyping this, like, crazy, and on their bodies, it looks amazing, it's, like, flawless, it's, like goals like tiny waist thick ass give them boys whiplash as I said I got gray leggings and of course I love gray leggings for the gym and I got these uh beat ones and these ones are cropped and they actually have this cute little pattern at the bottom which it's kind of useless but I guess it's cute it is a high waist so it's very cute the band is really thick it's a very thick material if you have more than like one percent body fat this will not a hundred percent be flattering on you every single time because it'll kind of bunch, and then if you sit, or when you're squatting, the tips of this, or the edges of this, will kind of like roll down, kind of thing. And I'm not a fan of that, that's just like, <laughs> bitch what? Anyways, look how thick this waistband is, and then the ass part, it's like zero room for the ass, like... Huh? So little room for the ass that you literally have to like, pull it all the way up. Um, to the highest waist it can be so it can fit your ass like comfortably. The good thing about the red ones and I heard like the blue or black 
these seamless ones is that those ones aren't see-through you can squat in them it does kind of give your butt like a lift because it's so damn tight that like even though the rest of your intestines and like the rest of your organs are going through severe damage um at least you have a nice ass yeah i don't really mind these i would give the red ones probably like a 7 out of 10 as well just because of all the stuff i said but at the end of the day it's gymshark it does look nice the gray ones have such a different rating. I would give these maybe like a 3 or 4 out of 10. Bitch, these are see-through. Gymshark, what the hell? How the hell are you charging 60 bucks US? <sighs> Even more than that in Canadian. For see-through see tights. Do you remember when Lululemon had see-through tights once and they recalled their entire collection? There are so many reports of this online because the first time I saw my tights being see-through, I googled it and I asked my friends, I'm like, is your tight see-through? It's not uncommon. A lot of people have complained about it. It's not squat proof at all. You have to kind of pull up the butt cheeks up so that it's not see-through and it's just like that's just way too stressful for me. Again, like a very thick waistband and they do make your legs look really nice. Like they do pump up your ass. These are pretty much like skin to skin contact on pants. Um, thing about this, I can't deal with see-through pants, Gymshark. I just can't. Being a, I wouldn't say power lifter, power builder, I don't know, I squat or deadlift at least four times a week, which requires me bending over, so tell me how the fuck am I going to do that with see-through ass pants? And the thing is, I don't understand because these Gymshark girls that are being sponsored or like even other people, like they don't say anything about this, like I've never heard about this being see-through from a big voice until I bought it and I was like what the fuck oh, makes me so upset so literally I only wear these when I know I don't have to bend over at all if I'm sitting half the time because listen girl even though they're see-through I paid for these I'm gonna wear them the sizes are so inconsistent because even though I said like the small indie flex leggings fit me comfortably the small in this would literally kill me because the medium is so tight and my friend who usually wears a small, she got a small and she can't even fit into them. Like, she can't breathe. So she literally has to sell them after waiting, like, a month. And shipping is another thing, but we will get to that later. The next thing that I want to show you is my least favorite product. I'd probably give this maybe a 2.5 out of 10. I'm only giving the 2.5 because it's a cute product and the aesthetics are there. But when it's on, I'm like, how? And I don't know how half these athletes are wearing this and looking good in it and they don't see anything because there is no way that this only happens to me. The fit leggings. These are absolute shit, Gymshark. What the hell is this? I don't know. I don't really wear this a lot and I bought this one and the black one together and those are the last ones I'll ever buy again. I do not plan on buying the fit leggings ever again because these are the most see-through pants I have ever owned in my life. I have Forever 21 leggings that are more opaque than these. They're cute because they do have that Gymshark band. Um, they are very hypebeast. And they do have a nice, like, plastic lining on the inside so it does not slip. But the way you wear this is fucked. The most unflattering pant because it shows all your side fat. It's just love handle haven up in here. It's just... Not a good time. And then when you um, when you bend over, that's another story because everyone else will be very happy and they'll be having a good time because your entire ass will be out. At least the seamless ones, it's not fully transparent where I can just see everything. But these ones, if you just wear them normally, like if you pull them up and go, completely see through. Like if you just look at this, like I can see you. Look, if I go like this, you can see my skin because it's so see-through. You can fully see your underwear, full, full, like, full fucking moon of your underwear. And same applies to the shorts as well, like the fit shorts that look exactly like this, but in shorts version. I have that as well, and I'm not a fan. The only way you can make it not see-through is if you wear it a certain way. Again, and I found this out because I had to do a lot of back research on this, which... Shouldn't even happen because why the fuck does one pair of pants stress me out so damn much? You take both ass cheeks and you pull it up like this so that it sits between your ass crack. And again, that's not flattering for anyone. You'll have the biggest camel toe here because literally it'll be, it'll be so bunched up like this. Like literally it'll look like this. Especially in the gray version, it's just so obvious 
that you're pulling it up and the black one of this I wear that one more <laughs> if I bought it I'm gonna wear it but that one at least it's not as obvious with the bunching because it is fully black um, but this one I wear maybe like once a month which is like shit because money's money right I'm sorry I can't just accept free Gymshark and then pretend everything's good and nothing see-through like the other thing I got that I'm not really a fan of, their flex leggings, like their new flex line. They came up with these like crop top things. And I've never even worn this, like the tag is still on. Um, I might soon, I don't know. Because like my biceps are big too, so like when I flex and stuff, it's just like tight on my biceps and I'm like... <sighs> I think to be flattering in Gymshark, you have to have, like, great genetics. Like, as you know, a lot of the Gymshark girls, like, they are very, very fit. Obviously, like, they work out all the time. They're pretty much paid to work out. You can tell when people get their body from, like, genetics. Like, these people naturally had a good body. I don't know how no one's ass has shown or no one has ever reported having see-through tights in the fucking fit leggings because those tights are so see-through I don't know how no one has reported that but then again you know when you're sponsored and your life is great I guess you wouldn't have the need to say anything <laughs> just been nice if someone let me know ahead of time more stuff that I want to talk about about Gymshark that's about the quality of your clothes it's very inconsistent some things are great honestly I don't feel too keen about trying new things anymore just because most of these have been a first feeling of happiness because it's here it's new it's gorgeous try it on hmm a little sketched out go to the gym in it ooh very sketched out see through there's a lot of things wrong with it like camel toe sizing inconsistency it's different on every single person um different sizing on like every single line which is just weird because like can't you just stick with one i'm gonna have a stroke another thing is shipping Holy fuck, shipping is so fucked. First of all, they said that you can't even track shipping after it's come into Canada. So after it's left the UK, it, you can track it through Royal Mail. And then once it's in the country that you're supposed to get it in, like US or um, Canada, you can't track it. Like they don't know where it is, but they know that it's here. Every time that I've reached out to them, on where my package is, they've just said, oh, like, there's delays, um, we can't help it, like, it's in Canada somewhere, but they can't actually locate where it is. So, sometimes their shipping is super fast. Like, I made an order last week on Thursday, and I got it yesterday on Wednesday. Usually, it's, like, two weeks, I've had it come for three weeks, and it once was, like, a month and a half. That one was really weird, because it was already at the post office, but I didn't get a notice to come in and get it. So I was just waiting at home, emailing them, and I'm like, yo, like, where the hell's my shit? And they were like, oh, it's on the way, it's on the way. But then later, I got like a notice from the post office and they were like, yo, you gotta pick this shit up or else we're gonna send it back. And then I was like, how long has it been here? And they were like, oh, it's been like two weeks or so. But it's weird because you would think that Gymshark's tracking number would let me know that's already like arrived at a destination. Like it's not just like randomly moving around. It's already arrived. It's been sitting at Canada Post for two weeks. Their customer service, like honestly, they try, they are, they are really nice, they do respond on time. They always come up with this thing where it's like, we can't really do anything. It's like, that doesn't actually help me. So that is it for my video. I just wanted to share with you my own personal thoughts on all the money I spent on Gymshark and what's worth it, what's not worth it. I really wanted to let you know from myself rather than you listening to people that are sponsored from it or people that are like influenced by it because you know what? If you're sponsored by something or if you're influenced to say something, even if you don't like it, if you're being paid to say something, most people will say good things about it or try to think of good things about it. It's just natural human instincts. If I'm giving you free ice cream and you eat it and you don't like it at all, you're not going to be like, oh, this is shit. Like, you're going to be like, oh, like, um, the flavor is really interesting kind of thing. All right, so know? that is it. Uh, feel free to add me on Snapchat. Follow my Instagram. I have a lifting Instagram as well. It's AZ Lifts or my regular Instagram, AZ Premium. I'd be happy to connect with you on there. And, um, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching and subscribe.